Good morning. Wait, hold on. How does this work? Oh yeah, the stream. See how the stream deck says it's on camera because I was in studio mode for like a second. There, it works now. Anyway, hi everybody. Morning. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Jeff and Chaz are here. Hi. And uh, Paul will be here later, but he's not here yet. So um, just just Jeff and Chaz. It also means that tomorrow night when we do a stream of a game that I can't tell you what it is because we literally haven't figured it out yet, uh, Chaz, Chef, and Paul will be here. Anyway, morning. Did you know it, uh, that we had a tropical storm? I did, and we flew through it. <laughs> we drove through it. Um, it was, uh, it was fun. It was fun. When you're driving and it rains really hard and you have tornado to... Tornado goes straight over the airport where the plane's supposed to land. Everyone's got the hazards on because you're like... But it's fine now. Now, you know, it's, it's a little wet. Wasn't too bad in Florida. That's good. The majority of it's over for us. Yeah, I As woke... As of 40 minutes ago. I woke up at, at 5 this morning and I checked my phone and it's like you're under tornado warning until 9 and I'm like okay so I looked at the radar and I was like where's the storm going and it all, it's showing like all the bands and it's like oh it's gonna be it's gonna be all the places you're gonna be at all the times you're gonna be and I'm like oh that's good that's really good but it's fine it worked out just fine we also have had a uh, we didn't have time to like move everything downstairs for breakfast stream, so we've got this really amazing setup where Chaz just sits on a on a chair behind me. It actually works. I, I'm just lurking, like I always am. <laughs> this is just a this is just a view behind the curtain of how it normally is. Somewhere behind you, running things. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. I'm gonna read some things. Uh, we got five gift subs from Digital Nugget to Skycast, Kenny Davis, It's Nick of Time, Gilfren, and Thori XD. Thank you, Nugget. Nine months from Lost Vagabond, Triple Plus. 22 months from Paint Chipper. 17 months from Pickletron. 22 months also from Night Owl. Nine months from Bones Brian. 12 months from Aeronautical. That's a year. Lost Vagabond gives a sub to uh, Melier. 15 months from Bassoonist. 16 months from 63 Fills. 12 months from Rainbow Zion. A few people hitting a year. 22 months from Aldo. Uh, 32 months from I Spy Moose, 17 months from Vest Digital Media, 33 months from PK Magical, 11 months from Kaylin595. Three new bits of Macintosh PC says, The gang's all here. We got Steven, Mal, Jeff, and Chasmodius, the great and power. One of these is not like the others. Aha. Ha ha ha. Sapphire Becca says, Team T for Jeff. But the trick is there's actually coffee in here. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff did, uh, Team Tia dirty this morning. <laughs> we have, there's like 50 mugs to choose from, and, and, and Jeff chose Team T to put his coffee in. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, I'm I'm an equal opportunity uh, <laughs> plant things in hot water person, but how do you feel about pouring fresh lemonade into a mug? <laughs> I mean, I mean it's, it's fine, it's just not what I want right now. That's fair. It's time for morning coke. <laughs> Everyone should enjoy their morning coke. Then you from Squid who says, Here's your mandatory daily clown to start the show. Thanks, Squid. It's not breakfast stream without clowns. <laughs> 17 months from Josh R2D2. Uh, three new bits from Bay XLR with the Bay 3 Heart Star Rain. 18 months, one plus from Jacket Gay. 300 bits from Digital Nugget says, it was heavy this morning, but it has died down uh, since in North Carolina. Hope you all are having good vibes. Yeah, so the good news is um, we gotta go pick up, we have, we're doing breakfast stream, then we have a little bit of time to kill, then we're gonna go pick up Paul. And by the time we go pick up Paul, it'll still be raining. Like, it's gonna rain all day, but it won't be uh, hazards on raining, which is really how I determine how bad it is. Is it raining with hazards or is it raining just normal drive? <laughs> if it's normal drive, that's how I feel. Eh, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Six, six, six bits from Decoy Troy. It's my birthday, so I have some cursed toast. Also, I just got my second jab on Tuesday and luckily I'm feeling well enough to celebrate today other than a sore armpit. Well, that's happy good. Birthday. And happy birthday. 
Yeah, uh, actually, um, I had a, my, it was very specifically my armpit that hurt after the first jab. Didn't have any issues at the second jab with that, but then the first jab I had the uh, lymph node swell up for a while. And I thought for sure it was gonna happen again when I got the second jab. Nope. Wow, these are weird. Three different Platinum and Pikachu says, it's good to see you finally playing Galaxy. I'm reminded of the time when I had a whole day to myself, so I did a full 120 star playthrough with breaks for lunch and dinner. It was certainly a trip. How long is Galaxy? I mean, I guess you could do it. I'm trying to think of how far we got, because we, we recorded six episodes to start off. Yeah, you could, yeah, yeah, I guess you could do it in a whole, yeah, you could do it in a sitting. Especially the, if you the, know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing about Galaxy is that you can play you can play it twice. Because you play it once. Is this spoilers? This game came out 14 years ago. You, you, you play through it once, and then you unlock Luigi, and then you can play it again. Uh, we're not doing that. I don't know if we said that we're not doing that. We're not doing that because it's the same game twice. And I'm like, nah, I'll just have my character wear the red. And that seems you good. You say the thing about Galaxy is you can play it twice. Like most video games, self-destruct. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy... Miyamoto <laughs> sitting at his desk was like, hold on, I have an idea. What if we let them play it again? Uh -oh. It's revolutionary. Uh, oh, yeah. No, don't you know that we have have some guests? Yes, we has. To my right, there's a Jeff, and behind me there is a Chaz. Also later, you can expect to see a Paul, but you gotta tune in Friday night if you want to see them all. Beautiful, thank you. Uh, Seven thousand bits from Prince Seven. Sing praises to your guests, Stephen. Thank you, Prince. Uh, collect the whole set tomorrow night. Um, catch them all. Also, with four people, it is warmer up here. I'm going to turn the air down. Okay. Because it's also not Why even... Why don't I do that for you? Okay, the, just hit the down arrow until it's like 68. But not 69. Yeah, well, 69's not... It's not enough. We have to we have to find where the 69 is and we have to go further. Family friendly. It's just not a, it's not enough for me. Uh, three to bits from Cabri who says, is Jeff dr drinking coffee out of the tea mug? Absolutely. So Cabri called this. Yeah. Well, you, you know. But you you also probably okay. You say you're equal opportunity, but also you would probably prefer coffee over tea in in a in a general situation. I mean. Probably isn't a tangent we want to go off on this early. I'm but. just I'm just looking for a yes or no. Like you you walk up to a counter yes. in a nondescript location, they hand you a, a, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, and you can take one. I mean, I'll probably take the coffee. Yeah. So but it's fine. Sometimes, yeah. You know, like... <clears throat> do you do do you drink hot chocolate ever? No. <laughs> okay. I mean, yes, occasionally in the winter, but like it's not a thing I seek out. That's fair. I, I sometimes I drink it in the summer. You I wanted one I like two days ago. You were like, I need hot chocolate. Well, my mom was talking about it. She's like, you know, I just I love hot chocolate, and I was like, I love hot chocolate too. <laughs> that was the full extent. But if someone would have handed me one, I would have drank it right then and there. Uh, three bits from Adrian says, uh, you know that thing that sometimes happens where you inexplicably get into a thing, like just flat out can't explain it. That's why I'm watching cricket. Here's the mummy. That's fair. I don't think I've ever watched cricket, so I don't actually don't. I'm not familiar with the rules or anything. That I know that you have a like a special flat bat, but I think I only know that from Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> They're throwing balls at things and trying to knock them down, and other people are trying to keep them from knocking them down. I think that's how it works, and it takes all day. You plan for lunch. It takes all day? I don't know. That's just what I think you I You gotta, know. like, make a tea time for cricket. <laughs> 30, 30, 34 months from Cinderdog. 334 bits from Bellabunny. He says, have a wonderful day, you clowns. Thanks. Appreciate Good morning, Sab. Morning, Sab. 17 months from Dragon Girl. 
We get 300 bits from Prince who says, uh, I have a doctor's appointment with a new physician for today, so that's gonna be fun. Especially finding the clinic, as it's not the same as my old one either. Hopefully I'm just being paranoid. Either way, I'll have properly adulted today. Make sure you reward yourself after doing a proper adulting, um, because it's just, it's so much. When you're a kid, you're like, you you look at your parents and you're like, oh, they got it all figured out. And then you get to their age and you're like, they didn't. <laughs> they definitely didn't. Um, so yeah, if you do, if you have to be an adult for a period of time in a given day, you know, do it and then be like, I'm gonna have ice cream or an ice cream sandwich. Three bits from paint chippers. The only option. <laughs> yes, if you're me. Three bits from paint chippers says, got my jab the other day. Been doing that hustle, but I think I've been doing more of a chicken dance. Also, that'll work. I think when I think of the chicken dance, I think of both arms. So unless you're like doubling up. If you go and you're like, give me you Pfizer can't. in this one and Moderna in this one. You might, I mean, I don't know. If you know a guy who knows a guy, if you make two appointments on the same day, there's a way you could do it. Mm. I'm not saying you should, I'm just saying it's possible. 21 months from Leafly. 300 bits from Danny says, yesterday I managed to get sub 28 minutes for Pikmin 3 DX Collect Treasure Row 1 speedrun. Wow. Putting me at second place on speedrun.com. Also, <laughs> EB with a knife. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's hard. As someone who got all the medals, the best medals, I can't do it that fast. What do you mean you got the best medals? Yeah, after we finished playing it, I went back through and played it and got the, the pl platinum medals on all the things. Oh, you, you like got all the platinum, like single player? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, sometimes Mal plays through, like we'll do a playthrough or something and then Mal just keeps playing it. Um, she's been doing that with Mario Golf, which is a little upsetting. Uh, a little upset. I learned she... some things I can teach you now. Great, thanks. I'll, I won't <laughs> keep the secrets to myself. I'm really glad that you were already better than me, and you're like, you know what would help if I kept getting better? Perfect. It's I gotta fine. I got beat John. <laughs> I, well, I, you probably will. You, you probably will do that. Dude from Jay Lineback, hope you're all doing well. Got my first vaccine jab recently and I spent the whole of the next day aching all over with shivers, sweating, and intense fever dreams about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> it was certainly a trip. For some people, that's just called Tuesday. <laughs> anyway, I hope you get feeling better soon. They're gonna put some digital nugget says, guys, but what is cold chocolate? Chocolate milk? Yeah, essentially. I mean, there's a place in our town that's a drinking chocolate that doesn't have to be hot. <laughs> but what is is drinking chocolate? You've had drinking chocolate. Yeah, but is drinking chocolate just better chocolate milk? It kind of is, right? Kind of. It's like, not. Like, what are ma the materials? <laughs> we have we actually have some drinking chocolate, so we could. Again, if anyone at any point during this July <laughs> month is craving hot chocolate, please let me know. Uh, we got 300 bits from Goldmage. It says, I'm going to cause conflict like an evil clown. Chess and Jeff, who would you each have voted for in the predictions to win regular and speed golf? So, yeah, Ma Mal and I played... For anyone mm -hmm. that's curious, Mal and I played Mario Golf recently. And, um... I mean... You know, I, I would have, I would have bet on Mal for regular because you know that's the calm, deliberate approach, and then speed golf is just chaos. I expect, and Steven is chaos. So there you go. That's I'd also like I... I'd also like that on my tombstone. Steven is chaos. <laughs> um, I mean, there also that's that's how I felt too. I, didn't I don't know how it to actually turned golf. out. Huh? I didn't expect to win speed golf on Friday. I thought you were going to win it. If I had opened up my phone, I probably would have put a yeah, prediction well, on you. Yeah, you know, I expect to win up until Luigi is one inch from the hole, and it was, and I was like, please tap it in, and he's like, sand wedge? And I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, sand wedge! And I'm like, please stop. And he's like, hit it really hard. Oh, no. It was, uh, it was dreadful. All right, I was just... Whichever one of you was going to notice first that when the power meter curves, that means your ball is going to curve. Mm -hmm. At some point, one of them is going to notice that. I learned that when it was all over. And that is something I definitely wish I would have known 
earlier when I was already losing. <laughs> um, but I'm all set for next time. Like, I, I will not lose to Mao again. Golf tournament tomorrow? Maybe. Uh, you know, I, I will not lose to Mao again because now I know that tip. So I'm all set. So I just want everyone to know that you are safe to bet on me again. Even though I've lost a lot. Probably more than you thought even imaginable. Don't worry. The next time, I'm all set. What song is playing? I can't hear it over the thing. Oh, it's called Are You Sleeping? That's why everyone is here. Let me, here, have this. It had lyrics. <laughs> That's the reason I skipped it, yes. 500 bits for pay chipper. Hey, it's it's Jeff's arrow. Yeah. Jeff, Jeff streams uh, DDR. Mm -hmm. Over at um, twitch.tv slash bodacious cowboy. Yes. There's not a schedule for that. It's just kind of when you're, uh, it, you, there's a vague schedule. Yeah, I mean, it, if, if it happens, it's Wednesdays, Fridays, then Sundays. You should follow uh, Thomas Jeff has, Thomas has, oh, Thomas has both the new emotes. Yeah, if, if you're not already following uh, Jeff and you like DDR, it's a, a combo that you should <laughs> engage in. Uh, 300 Bits from Prince, who says, uh, Mal, you have all Platinums in Pikmin 3, congrats. I have all but one Platinum, Thirsty Desert Remix. Yeah. The one where you only have purples, there are no enemies, and you can switch them into pinks and whites. The Christmas one was difficult. The Christmas one, the Christmas one was uh, difficult when me and you did it. Oh yeah, I've gotten it now, but it it took me a lot. That was my hard one. I feel like I think the the Christmas one is the one I did with Emil. It is. I couldn't remember that when we were playing it, but mm -hmm. people told me that after the fact. Coffee. What a, what a first introduction to Pikmin three. Here, play this. See, when we played Pikmin two and it had those same walls with the big flat space. Yeah. Part of me thought that was the one you had played with Emil because it it does that in the Christmas one. Mmm. Yeah. Also, uh, Pikmin 3 is over. Did you know that? It's like a hundred episodes, and it was on the channel for nine months. Anyway. 20 months at Tier 2. Gold Toast from Superior LP. Thank you for that. Uh, 400 bits of My Spy Moose. It says, funny slash embarrassing story from yesterday. I went to pick up Reed from daycare, and he hit the child lock on his door. I couldn't get it closed. I went to flick the child lock up, and it was stuck so I couldn't close this door. Spent 30 minutes uh, trying to pry it open, broke a nail down to the nail bed and made it bleed, broke multiple pens, <laughs> and Mark comes and just moves the handle on the door and the lock flies up. I was big mad. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it is a funny story. So, um, you know, thank, thank you for sharing. Everything is, everything is uh, frustrating in the moment and then Coffee. either immediately or sometime after generally becomes funny. In our in our family, it becomes funny immediately. It usually becomes funny during, <laughs> which might be a little too soon, but that's just how it is. Uh, three one bits for Paint Chipper with another, uh, with another one of Jeff's emotes. Good. One good. One good. I was reading this, it was like 111 good. <laughs> <laughs> Three bits from Cheese Hammer says, uh, so everyone now knows about the wonders of the Cheese Hammer, but is there such a thing as a Chaz Hammer? It seems like every good wizard needs a magic weapon. That just makes me want to see something out of place added to like Final Fantasy. So the wizards have like a hammer for, for no, no good reason. But no, I don't believe that there's a Chaz Hammer. I mean, I own a hammer. Oh, well that's a Chaz Hammer. Did, okay. Is that your, it's your hammer? I guess, there it's in my house. Yeah, that's a Chaz. Now if you give that to me, it becomes a cheese hammer, so. <laughs> very, very close, Chaz cheese, very, very close. Uh, three to bits from Danny X6. I also have the world record in Pikmin 3 Deluxe Collect Treasure All Missions. Has anyone else done that run? I'll never tell. Also, Kirby with a knife. I mean, it's cool that you've been like working at it. Pikmin 3's hard. It's really hard. Yeah. Like, I enjoyed it, but it's, you know, it's, it's a little difficult. I, I, once I got through it, I, there was not a lot in my heart that was like, I want to do this more. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as Pikmin 2, where I want this game to have not existed. Um, Pikmin 3 is like, oh, okay, hand it to Mao or she'll just keep playing. Uh, three and one bits from Adrian uh, with the, the Taipobo PB. Star Rain. Personal best. Personal best. Or, or lead. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Lead. 
See, if I speed run, that would be that. That'd be what I do. I do. Whenever I hit PB, three hundred bits of Mikabu. One day, a doctor tells his patient, "I have bad news and worse news. The bad news is you have twenty-four hours left to live. What's the worst news?" Patient asks. Doc replies, "The worst news is I was supposed to tell you this yesterday." <laughs> <laughs> both both look at camera fade to black I, I feel seen seen anyway so uh we actually started not as late as i thought we would because mm -hmm. we were we were kind of thinking like about 9 30 and i think we started around like 9 35 so we did pretty good um I knew that we was going to be a little bit later, but not like super late, and we did we did all right. Um, today is going to be a pretty good one uh, because we're still meeting up with uh, the uh, the lunch bunch folks this evening for uh, for games, so we're going to have a pretty big group tonight. Have we heard from them? Have we? Have we heard? It, no, it's. 10 in the morning. I know, but like, <laughs> do any of them work today? It, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I, I, told, I told folks about it uh, last, last week, week. Mm -hmm. and everyone was like, oh, cool. You know, they were excited that Chaz, Jeff, and Paul were going to be here. And it's a birthday celebration. It is yeah, a birthday it's, celebration. Yeah, if you see Paul, I don't know when you would see Paul. If, <laughs> I guess you'll see him tomorrow. If you see Paul, tell Paul happy birthday, because today is actually Paul's birthday. I guess you'll see him tomorrow, so you can wish him a, ha a happy belated birthday. So it's actually his birthday. Um, when we pick him up, we're going to, I guess we'll pick up like a cake. Yeah. We'll go, we'll go to the cake store where they sell cakes and buy a cake, <laughs> buy a Paul cake. <laughs> Thomas says Paul is in his element on a plane on the way to see for true true is 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 this a new uh, airport for Paul no he's been in the Myrtle Beach I think right? so right right yeah then he said yeah I think these no is I, this new I feel like he said that it was new yeah I think he said that which he seems adding to his total which seems weird because I'm like how have you been here so many times and not flown into Myrtle Beach he came in Charleston he's been into um, yeah Wilmington I don't know check I am. For those for those who um, aren't aware, Paul Paul likes data. I'm open with that. Paul likes data, and Paul tracks all of his flights that he's taken for the last like 15 something years. He flies a lot. Like he's in a in a general calendar year, he's away from home like a third of the year for for travel for for work, and uh, he keeps track of all the airports he's gone to, and he's trying to fly in or out of 100 airports. And apparently, this is number 97. Yeah, it is. Again, kind of wild that he's never actually flown into Myrtle Beach because he's been here so often. But I guess he either drove, or he rode with you guys, or he flew into... Mm -hmm. Another airport. Yeah, we have a few airports around that you can go into, so... Yeah, Charleston. So yeah, there's, there's you know, several several options. Didn't we pick him up at Wilmington once? Sounds right. Yeah. We got six months from uh, Kerbeb. That's a double plus. And then immediately following that is 12 months from Jithy Picard, who says, Year! Yay! Congrats. Congrats on the uh, on the number. Sab says, Now I'm thinking, how many airports have I been to? Yeah, I mean, like, I... <laughs> he doesn't count layovers. These are only, like... Yeah flying in or out, arrival or departure. The the cool thing about tracking that, um, <laughs> thanks, Adriel. Uh, the, the cool thing about tracking something like that is like, he if, if we're talking about a, a, a time that we traveled or he traveled or whatever, he can be like, oh, hold on. And then he can just find out exactly the when it was. The tail number even and yeah, he, what seat he was in. He knows <laughs> how many times he's been on individual planes, <laughs> which is actually just really neat. So whenever he gets a flight, he's like, oh, I've been on this plane before, and he'll know where he sat. It's just really neat. If I was trying to think of like all of the places, that I, the airports I've been to, I think it would be difficult because there's been times where I have went to a place once, and I'm not gonna remember. And also some places have multiple airports. I can't remember where we went. Like, have I, have I been to JFK? Yes. 
You've been to Newark as well. Have I been to... You've been to Midway and O'Hare. Have I been to LAX? Yes. So I've been to four airports. <laughs> there are there are at least four. So I don't... You were at Myrtle Beach Airport today, so... I wasn't in it. That's true. <laughs> but I have been in it before, so five. I've been to five airports. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have been to JFK. That's when we got back from Japan, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, and I was tired and I ate uh, pizza. <laughs> and we still had another layover after that. Still wasn't, still wasn't as bad as the first Japan trip when it took us four, 48? Yeah. I think it was over 48 hours from the, time, from the time we walked out of the place we were staying in Japan to the time we walked into our home. It was over 48 hours of travel. That was gross, don't do that. Especially because we flew into Charlotte? Yeah, then we had to drive from Charlotte home. So after having been awake for like 45 hours, I had to drive, you know, three hours home. Um, I wouldn't do it again. The last hour of that was hell, and I was convinced that... Uh, I, at that point, I was like, this now seems unsafe. We made it. It's fine. It's Morning, Dan. Dan! Hi, Dan. Dan. <clears throat> Dan. Dan, we'll see you uh, later today. Lineback asked if that was um, with time zone adjustments. No, that was like if you had started a stopwatch, and that's how long it took us. Yeah, that's actual time. That's not the time zone stuff. That's actual time. It was disgusting. I hated it. Uh, we got 27 months from Rocktron LPs. Thank you, Rocktron. And, uh... That's alerts. Oh, I've gotten through them a few times now. Yeah. I was going to say, uh... What were we just talking about? Airports? Um, that's too general. Your 48 hour trip from hell. Oh yeah, um... Oh, I, f I forgot. <laughs> Birthday. Birthday? Lunch bunch people. It was something about Dan. I don't remember, it's fine. Dan, we'll see you later. And then maybe I'll, I'll remember what it was. Oh, I remember. I remember now. I remember now. Um, I was going to say thanks. Thank you, Dan. Because Dan, uh, we had to get a bunch of stuff done recently to get things scheduled. And uh, Dan did good because he got it done. And I got it scheduled. And that's, that's what my day was yesterday. was like, how many times can I press the upload button on, uh, on YouTube? So it's good. So thanks, Dan. It feels good. Like, I'm sure it feels good for Dan, too, because things are done for a little bit. Because we have, uh... There's... I, I, I haven't talked about it, so I'm kind of keeping it, like, low... Keep little it, little low it, key. Keep it little low, low key. key. But there's some other stuff happening, too, so... We'll talk about that later. I'm excited about it. Anyway. That'll be a Tuesday thing. Oh, yeah. Well, they'll have to know Tuesday. <laughs> if they don't know Tuesday, something's gone wrong. Yeah, you guys, well, yeah, I'll just say that. You'll find out Tuesday. It'll be exciting. Um, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah, you can't reprocess videos anymore. <laughs> yeah, YouTube, YouTube changed that. YouTube is a, a garbage website um, <laughs> that is uh, absolutely dreadful and awful and has changes at all times, which they don't warn you about or tell you about and sometimes don't make any sense and they remove features. One of the features they removed is the ability to reprocess videos, so. And sometimes you have to log in with an email you don't know if it's associated with that account or not. Yeah, that was a recent problem too. There goes the Yeah, you have to re-upload stuff now. Um, if you upload something and it gets stuck in processing hell and it's been like a day and you're like, this didn't process. Uh, fun fact, it won't. It won't. Just delete it and try again. <laughs> and learn a problem. I think Twitch.tv would like you to continue to criticize the YouTube. I mean, they both got problems, but they're also, you know, they're one of those things like you just have to overcome. You just have to figure <laughs> out how it works and try to to do it. It's fine. It could be worse. It could, yeah, it actually could be worse. Mm -hmm. Underbits from Crimson Main 76 Crimson, thank you. Yeah, this will be on YouTube later on. I've been uh, I've been working on vlogs a little bit. Um, I can almost guarantee you that there'll be a, a little bit of a drought. I have a few done, but not a lot. 
but there will be something out uh, today at 3 and tomorrow at 3 and then you know, we'll see. <laughs> then I have no I have no guarantees because I'll be hanging out with uh, folks and I, I don't think that I'll be necessarily uh, working. Yeah. Uh, 200 bits from Digital Nugget. Uh, who also asks... Uh, do you like being able to split loads with another editor? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's less like and is more Necessary. absolutely mandatory. Yes. Yeah, like, just to, just to be completely clear, if Dan did not ex well, if Dan didn't exist, I guess, you know, things would be different and I'd have a different editor. Um, but if, if Dan did not edit stuff, if we didn't have, you know, an, an editor, um, mm, things would be different? It's absolutely, it's absolutely mandatory. Like for the, there was several years where I did all of the things, but I also worked like 80 to 100 hour weeks and I did that for like years. Um, don't do that if you can, if you can help it. You can like manage it in your 20s, but um, you shouldn't. It's not, it's not particularly healthy. And once you get into your 30s, you, you literally like can't do it. And anyone who is doing it is like, but I'm doing it. I'm like, you need to take a step back. <laughs> You need to take a step back. It's not healthy. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, 300 bits of light. Pikachu says, uh, following the airport talk, although I've never flown before, I have been to Terminal 4 at London Heathrow Airport on two occasions. Once when my parents took me to watch the planes, and once when changing trains there. We were at Heathrow, right? Yes. Yeah, that was where the family was. Yeah. Ah, the family that I'd love to... Hug! Very, a very small hug around the neck. Um, we flew on a plane, which is what you do at the airport, and uh, we were coming back from Greece. Greece, and there was a family that were like across the aisle, and they were screaming, man. They had kids. They were very entitled. And they, yeah, 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 that, and they were just doing the scream thing, and I was like, oh, but thank God we're about to be in Heathrow where we will never see them again. So we land in Heathrow and we're like, let in Heathrow, which is very large, let's choose a restaurant in this large airport, Heathrow. So we look through the massive list of restaurants, because it's big, and our gate was at a completely different place, so like, whatever, we'll just And we pick decided it. to get fish and chips at some pub-esque restaurant. So we go and we sit down and we're like, cool, it is so nice to be in this giant airport, all Heathrow. All alone in this corner of the all restaurant. All alone, where there's no one else here, it's great. And then who sits down next to us but the family? And I was like, oh. That's okay. That's okay. I enjoy it when hell doesn't stop. Uh, so we ate our, our lunch and it was awful. Um, and then we went to our gate, which was again, far away from this place. Different gate. We're chilling there. We're like, cool, everything's fine. Get on the plane. Surely they won't be on a flight to Charlotte. Why would they go to Charlotte? We came from Greece. Ha ha. So we sit on the plane and then who gets behind us but this family. And behind me is the dad. And I was like, well, at least it's the dad. And then, like, ten minutes into the, the, the flight, the dad starts kicking my seat. And, um... It was, uh, it was great. The thing that was funny about it, though, is that his comeuppance was immediate. <laughs> because the headphone port in his thing didn't work. And he was like, hey, flight attendant, my, my headphone port doesn't work. And she was like, I'm sorry. And he was like, I need to move to another seat. And she's like, this is a full flight. He's like, but how will I hear the movie? She's like, you won't. Like, <laughs> what do you want me to do? Like, fix it? Like, I can't fix that. And he was so upset. And I was in front of him. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> suffer, suffer, suffer. Your family is miserable. Um, anyway, so that's my Heathrow story. Please, please, went on planes. They also took our entire bottle of contact solution. Yeah, Heathrow was like, what's all this then? <laughs> I'm like, contact, contact solution. solution. They're like, mm, could be a bomb. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. okay. That's because it's a medical thing in the U.S., but it I isn't know, there. I know, I know. But we didn't it's, know. I know. It's different places do things differently. It's just really frustrating because in the U.S. they're like, eh, it's fine. And then in, in the U.K. they were like, nope. They always test it in the U.S., though. They flip it open and then they like squeeze the air vapor onto the little paper and test it. Do you remember the time where I got I got the Quadex? 
Yeah, I got Quad X at, uh, where were we? Charleston. Charleston. Where you print out the ticket. And, and instead of the free pre-check they sometimes give you, it was like the opposite of pre-check. Yeah, it was opposite of pre-check. It was like anti-check. And it comes up, it's just four X's in a row. And I was like, hmm, what does this mean? So when I get to the airport, they're like, whenever I scan it, like the red light goes off. And they're like, sir, you have to go to the other line. I'm like, oh. So I go to like this line and it's like its own. They had their own bin for Quad X. And it's like a red bin. It's a separate security line. I'm the only person in it. And there's a guy just like watching me. And I'm like, I'm not sure what I did. And I, I, I go through and then they're like, we're going to have to check your bag. And I was like, okay. So it's my backpack and they start pulling out like everything. And you had like. My 3DS uh -huh. and my laptop. And they like open everything up. And, and they're like it. they're like swabbing the 3DS, and I was like, I ain't never seen anyone swab a 3DS, but this is entertaining. And uh, yeah, it's just really bizarre because I stood there and like everyone in the other line just stares at me like that guy is it's dangerous. He's <laughs> been flagged. That guy, he's about to hack into the airplane with his 3DS, <laughs> which I you know I was. So they, good job, they caught me. Rocktron LPs gives us up to Purple Pollo, 500 bits from Crimson Main, and says, Hey guys, been a fan since your vlogs in Ireland way back. I haven't been able to catch a breakfast stream live because I'm in Hawaii. It is 4 a.m. Wow. Gamer sleep schedule. <laughs> well, it's, it's hard to sleep with the RGBs. You know, you, you expose yourself to the RGB lighting. <laughs> Jeff knows about RGB lighting. <laughs> you expose yourself to the RGB lighting, and it changes your circadian rhythms um, to that of uh, the gamer sphere. So... Yeah, I, I hope that you can get some sleep soon um, at whatever time gamers go to sleep. I'm not sure. I'm not a gamer. Uh, 500 Woods and Bella Bunny says, My favorite flight was coming home from the UK. I ran into a flight attendant I chatted with on my flight over. I was stuck between three loud children. She pretended to take my ticket, loudly said, Follow me, miss, and reseated me in the back of the plane with a four-seat row all to myself. Treat your flight attendants like angels. You never know when they'll come through for you. <laughs> it's a good story. There's been a few times where I have sat in the very back of a plane. I actually don't mind sitting in the back of a plane because for for most flights, it means that you board earlier. Um, and there's been a few times I've sat in the back and I've actually chatted with flight attendants, which I just enjoy. I think that's really nice because they've got some kind of unique experiences. Well, if experiences. you're on specific sized airplanes, the jump seat for the flight attendant is like in between the back row. Yeah. Like there's a fold down seat. Yeah. So I actually, I actually like that. Um, I know some people get on a flight and they're like, they want to listen to music or podcast or play a game or whatever. Um, I actually like, I like talking to people and it doesn't happen very often because most people do not want to talk on a plane, but generally flight attendants are, the ones I've been around have been a little, a little chattier, which I actually like. Airdash 3K gives a sub to Subbybro86. Thank you, Airdash. Jeff, you travel a lot. Do you... Ever talk to folks on the flights? Um, not usually. No. Is that is that from from you or for other people? Like, do you do you like to get into like a little travel zone where you're like, I'm just gonna work? Or... Usually, I'm flying early. And I just sleep. So. Oh yeah. Well, I guess most people are on on the plane or are gonna I'm be flying asleep. Flying late and I'm sleeping, so it's just. <laughs> That's fair. Mostly, I just want to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I will never say words on a plane. I'm not. Even... Well, I mean, like, that's, so that, some people feel like that, though. Some people are like, no, they just, you know, they want to, and that's fine. But I, I actually like chatting with folks, so I'll, I'll kind of test the waters a little bit, because I'll just, I'll kind of sit next to someone, and I'll just kind of like. <laughs> you know what? In retrospect, I think I know why I got the quad X. <laughs> I think that was, I got reported enough of like, I don't know, this guy just keeps looking over here. When we, f when I flew into Vancouver, because we had separate flights, mm -hmm. the guy next to me could tell I was excited about where, why, wherever I was going there, and yeah. he was pointing out all the mountains. He's like, "Oh, and that one's this, and that one's," because I had the window seat, and he's like, "Oh, oh. that's Mount, whatever." Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And then he told me he was from the area. There's times where I have been a third wheel to. Well, not a third wheel. That implies I'm involved. <laughs> There's been times I've sat behind people who strike up a conversation, and the whole thing is just fast. There's been times I've had, like, a Game Boy or whatever. I'm like, I'm going to play Game Boy. Well, not Game Boy, but it's, you know, it's not 1989. But 
I'm on a plane and people in front of me will have a conversation and I feel bad for like eavesdropping, but like, I can't help it. They're talking loud, it's a plane. And I'll hear, I'll hear what they're saying, I'll be like, oh wow, that's really interesting. So I never add anything to the conversation and instead of like getting on my laptop or playing a game, I just sit there the whole flight and I'm like, yeah, wow, yeah. Again, feeling more and more like I understand why I got that quad X. <laughs> 40 bits from Zeta programs is so much suffering, especially since my laptop had decided to break down after accidentally spilling some juice on the keyboard. Still feeling upset, but thankful for my backup laptop. Yikes. Well, I hope you can get the other laptop fixed up and de-juiced, um, you know, as soon as possible. Hopefully that goes okay. And then uh, 500 bits from Chemist who says, have a morning clown. Thank you. There was one time I was on a flight and the lady next to me was quite drunk. And at some point she got up to go to the bathroom and she had gotten quite loud arguing with the person she was with. Fun. And he leaned over and he's like, I'm really sorry about my sister. She's going through a divorce and some stuff. Well, that, 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 that's nice. Well, I mean, also, you know, if you're in that situation and you're that guy, you're extremely self-aware and self-conscious of like, what's going on, mm -hmm. you know? You're like, oh, I don't want anyone to, to judge them or judge me. So you're just kind of, you know. George Sofa says, most people don't talk uh, m most people don't want to talk on planes, and I don't exactly either, but if the person next to me is chatty, I'll generally be polite and take it as a chance to learn a bit about someone. Yeah, I think most people probably kind of feel that way. Yeah, I mean, that's the that's the thing. If it's if it's not like a 14-hour international flight, you're never going to see these people again. I mean, ever. you're not going to see them on that either. It's just you'll see a lot <laughs> yeah, of them. right. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like, you know, swing for the fences. Yeah, use it. To, use no. the opportunity to be someone else. <laughs> yeah, what's what's uh? What did Thomas say oh, I was gonna when say, you were at the restaurant? Well, that's a separate. I was gonna say what's uh, what's George Costanza's thing, where he works for um, architect. Yeah, he's an architect. Yeah, that's Art you know. Art Garfunkel. No. Art Art Garfunkel. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Like Art, Art Vandalay, that's Art it. Vandalay Industries, yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, if you're so I, if you're a theater kid, it's a good opportunity. You're not going to see them again. Garfield <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I've already scheduled Garfield Cart 4, but that is a good alternative title. The one that, what it's called is good, though. Yeah. It's, it's really good. So I don't have any regrets, but Garf Carfunkel is excellent. Excellent work. Oh dear. Oh. Anyway, you can you can use you can use a plane ride as an opportunity to just be someone else. You know, get get into you know just say hey, I'm walking into this plane. This is my improv session, and here I go, and then just roll with it. Um, yeah, Thomas. I've told the story before, but Thomas thrust me deep into that in a way that I did not want to be thrust in because for him he was on vacation in town. We were going to a restaurant. For me, this is my hometown. I go to these restaurants. I have to come back. And you have gone back. And I have gone back. The staff has changed. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he he told uh, told the waitress that he was the director or producer, and I was the editor of the like the latest uh, Transformers movie. And like as soon as he said that, I'm just staring at him like, "What are you doing? This is the beginning of the meal." <laughs> it was fine. Thousand Bits from Cheese Hammer says, I want a Chaz assigned Pokemon. I know the alerts aren't up right now. I just want Chaz to name a Pokemon for me. That could be difficult. Poliwhirl. Chaz, can you name a Pokemon that is not in the first 150? Poliwhirl 2. <laughs> <laughs> Love Poliwhirl. You know, Poliwhirl 2 is just. Um, Oh wait, no, Poliwhirl is the- wait, is Poliwhirl the, the full evolution? Poliwag, Poly... something, Poliwhirl? Poly... what is that? There's three in that. Poliwrath. Yeah, the next Poliwhirl 2 is just Poliwrath. No, no, it's a different one. But apparently there's Politoed, which I've never heard of, so... Neat. 3 bits for Jethi Picard says, uh, uh, on one of, uh, one of the plane rides, I got assigned the exit seat, and then I realized I was on crutches, and the person I got sat next to was watching adult videos awkward. Oh! Yeah, that's not great. There was one time where, uh, Mount, where were we 
were flying? I don't know. We were flying on. We were on a long flight, and we uh, we had been watching the uh, the National Lampoon Vacation movies, and uh, we had loaded up, I think European Vacation, because it was part of the thing, and we, there's. I had never seen it. So we were watching it. It's an R-rated film. It has some nudity in it, and like it just so happened that during a part with with like breasts right across, like the whole screen, like just a breast shot. The captain had an announcement. So like we're watching it and it's on my screen and mouse screen because we're watching we synced up we synced them up. So it's just like boom, boobs. And like the captain's like, I have an announcement, and I'm like, and like immediately like everyone starts looking over at our screens, and I'm like, uh, and like he's just taking his dear sweet time, and I'm like, please God, just so I'm flying a plane today. A plane is a vehicle with wings, and we're gonna go up into where the air is. Flight's gonna take, and I'm like, Jesus, please stop. And like, you know, at that, because at that point, like everyone that, like, that can look is, and then like the small children, and like the parents are like, you know, covering their eyes, and I'm like, just please stop the. <laughs> it's a comedy film. It's a comedy. It's fine. It's fine. It was just one of those things that, you know, you always think like this could happen to a person. It yes, it can, and it did. Um, it did. <laughs> Light Rose says, "Sir, please put those boobs into airplane mode now." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is why you call on the no fly. I think I think the 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 quad X was before that, so I'm probably overdue for. Uh, for another one. Ludo Bits and Frosty says, I've learned recently that airport security with a service dog is awful. Going to Arizona, TSA had me go through the detector no less than five times, touched my dog, swabbed me, looked at my bags. It was horrible. Oh. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. I mean, what? your mileage may vary um, whenever dealing with, uh, with airports just in general, but I'm sorry that you had to go through all of that. Hopefully, uh, hopefully... Uh, Val, right? Val? Val. Yeah. Uh, hopefully Val handled that as well as can be expected. As well as can be expected. I do my best to re I do my best to remember folks' names. I do my best to remember folks' pet names, but I'm bad at both. So, uh, if I, if I get one, if I get one right, it's like a little victory. Like, for the rest of the day, I'm like, you remembered something? They said you couldn't do it? And you did it! And I'm like, but what did I have for breakfast? And the Brain's like, don't know! Rocktron LPs gives a sub to Nightbot. Hey! I hear Nightbot. Thank you, Rocktron. Jeff should roll the beans. Jeff, would you like to roll beans? Oh, goodness. Yeah, I'll make it happen. It's the Patreon button in the top right. Oh. Yeah. Good job. Well, that's really good. I'm sorry. I, I have <laughs> had no sleep. Guess what? Got real anxious before the flight you can you can sleep here yeah I, i'm gonna work on that um but if i seem out of it it's because i, I had the, no sleep the flight was already early and then you gotta like you had to do some stuff before bed and then at that you point to, to the airport ahead yeah and you had to drive mm -hmm. to the airport so at that point you're just like i might as well stay up and you can always sleep later which you know later is coming soon yeah i'm probably gonna go sleep after this <laughs> yeah that's fine 23 months from Seafe Seeker, almost to two years. Uh, and speaking of uh, Patreon, uh, we just released oh. a new uh, Patreon, Patreon video. video, which has, I was about to say, it has some secret stuff, like the fact that there's a, a, a Galaxy LP coming, and that Chas, Jeff, and Paul are visiting. But I guess some of those things are a little revealed at this point, but there's still other stuff in there. I can um, hear this animated emote that Patreon <laughs> LPs. The cat posted. with the mouth yeah. opening. <laughs> It's, there was like a pop sound. There was a meme going around a while back with the cat making a pop sound, whatever. It's so just I, this is a very specific. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I can't. I can't do it. I can hear the sound in my head, but I can't make it. It's it's exactly that. I mean, it's pretty basically close. Exactly that. I could do ASMR, but I think everyone would leave. Uh, <laughs> Underbits from Crimson Main. Thank you, Crimson. I love that pop. So which of our emotes are we going to make do that now? I vote for Dan. Oh, <laughs> yes. 
We could, the, so the, the great thing about these animated emotes is that, um, you know, like, I could just get, like, a video clip. <laughs> Dan says I agree. Dan, remind me today. Hi, buddy. We can, Hi, we can change, we can change the current, like, Come exclamation here. point one to be, Come like, so it's, like, you know. Dan already has his mouth open. I could, I could just take it into Photoshop. You know, Photoshop's got that AI thing where it's like, is the mouth open or closed? How long? How old is the person? I could do that. Try it. See how it works. It probably will work bad because it's not good. <laughs> and that may be the good thing about it. Well, it is. It's not. It's not a great feature. Kippy, um, come it here. needs a lot more work. Come on, bud. Come here. Come here. Come here, Kip. Come on, buddy. It's very scared. Come on. Come on. Come here. <laughs> come on. You're doing a lot of staring. Okay, we're walking. Hi. Which way are you gonna go? <laughs> no. Nope. The storm was scary for Back him. Back downstairs. He cool. had a long morning. Yeah. It. It. I mean, it. Like the the wind gusts and everything, and the rain. It was. It was extreme. So I. I. I understand. He's probably been while we were gone. He was probably just hiding. Yeah. It was loud and scary. Anyway, we'll go and uh, get wrapped up here. Um, First off, thank you all for being here, and uh, things to announce. Stream uh, tomorrow. More Galaxy today. Mm-hmm. And then that's that's it. Uh, tomorrow, a stream of some sort at our normal stream time, 8 p.m. Eastern. I don't know what it's going to be, but there will be several of us, and we will play a game. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we won't. <laughs> the last Garfield cart Saturday. Yeah. Um, I don't want to reveal the title. That's revealing too much. It is. Um, because... You know, if if I told you the title, it would it would reveal the the secret ending. Uh, there's a secret ending, and that's on uh, that's on on Saturday night. And like, uh, is that's about it? Yeah. Jacebook says burning question. Is Rosalina's name Proton John or Brenda? So it's Brenda. Proton John was a joke because it was a funny joke, and then everyone's like, "But now what is it?" And I'm like, that's the joke. We call Rosalina Brenda. Brenda is not a joke. There's nothing funny about Brenda. No. No. Brenda Brenda is is uh, a part of our little canonical Mario universe courtesy of uh, Alex. Probably. I think Alex named Rosalina Brenda. It's fine. I'm fine with that. Am I playing as Brenda? Mm, we haven't decided that. Maybe not. Uh, that is it for today. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Yeah. Right? Is that yeah, tomorrow? Yeah, that's, it's Thursday, so it will be Friday. See y'all tomorrow for not breakfast stream. Some sort of game. Oh, you want to do a dome? Chaz and Jeff dome? That's a good one. Chaz and Jeff dome! Art... <laughs> Oh, that Armored Frogs is even more complicated. Art Garf. Oh, the, uh, hold on, I need a moment. Art Garf Cart Funkle. I, oh, I think I almost swore, actually. <laughs> Family friendly. Quad X Dome. Family friendly. Quad X. Quad X. <laughs> Quad X is fine. Oh, man. Quad X is very close to um, the title I gave. Uh, the final Garf, Garf. Oh, I've said too much. I've said too much. Y'all have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow night.